Hey guys, welcome to my channel. We're here at Blowout Campground and while my dogs are chilling, I said uh, let's uh, vlog about our experience in bringing the dogs in a road trip like this. This is a two week camping road trip. Uh, initially, uh, we were hesitant to bring them, but every time we leave them behind, even with our friends and relatives, you know, they, they get, or they have this sort of separation anxiety they just do stuff that you don't want to they ruin stuff or they ran away or something like that okay so uh, that's the reason I picked the expedition EL because it seats eight people as compared to a pickup which seats five to six people only so there's five of us plus three dogs uh, just the right room okay inside the vehicle and uh, I was surprised that they really behaved well during our trip and also this uh, this stop this one time uh, in Fort Collins we stayed in a hotel Super 8 it, it's uh, pet friendly you just have to pay additional 10 to 15 dollars per dog and like I said, I, I was surprised that they behaved uh, really good because initially I thought they're going to pee or poop on the carpet or pee uh, on the curtains or destroy the bed or, or the furnitures. No, none, none of that. Um, they just uh, lay there you know, sleep through the night and then early morning they wanted to go out like six or seven they, they have this re routine routine six or seven a.m. they want to go out to walk and pee okay and then during the travel uh, initially the youngest the, this is their son uh, gray he vomited only we were, when we were driving, a few meters away from the house when we stopped at uh, Whataburger, uh, maybe he's so anxious, he doesn't know. This is his first uh, long, long drive, okay? But this is the longest for all of them, okay? Because before I used to bring these two in a camping trip or going to the beach, this is Gray's first long drive too. And what else, you just need to uh let them out go pee and drink every time you stop for gas or stop for food and another experience is that although we were not able to eat inside the restaurant it's also covid so we just ordered to go and eat at a, at a rest stop or a, or a picnic area or inside the vehicle uh, in the gas station parking lot. What else? Because um, in our culture back home, we, we're not used to bring our pets during our travels. And uh, there's a meme on Facebook wherein they said that, you know, uh, the reason you buy a dog is for them to guard the house. But then you can't leave now because you have to watch the dogs. Okay? So, but now you can bring them. It's not that hard. We, were, we, we learned it uh, this week. It's, got, it's a two week travel, so we learned it this week. It's not that, it's not that hard to bring them. It's not that uh, big of a thing or a hassle. They just occupy a small space and uh, you just need to find time for them to stretch, go pee and drink and eat. That's it, right? Right, Rocky? Okay. Oh, uh, and another thing is, I found this on eBay. It's an anti-bark device. I don't know what you call it. It produces an ultrasonic sound. 
So every time they misbehave, cause in the hotel you were told that the dogs are not allowed to bark continuously. So I, my dogs already know what this is. So every time I touch this or hold this, they will stop doing what they're doing or they stop barking. And also in this campground, we were told by the camp host uh, to uh, not keep our dog continuously barking as to disturb the other neighbors. Okay, so that really helps. And uh, what else? That's it, I think. They love the exercise. They love to run around off leash, but they have to be on leash all the time, except for places that are secluded enough. No other people, no other dogs. Like beside the lake that we camped the other night and the lake that we're gonna go to late in the afternoon today. So we're sleeping right now because we walked this morning going there. They love the exercise and I need the exercise too. So that's it. I uh, just want to share with you. This is our first time bringing our dogs in a road trip like this. Houston to Yellowstone. So it's Houston to Idaho, then Yellowstone, then going back to Houston. So for dog lovers and for future dog owners it's not that hard to bring your dogs with you thanks for watching